The Israelites won a quick victory, but then the Philistines got ahead again. And this time, they lined up the Philistine army like on the other side of the lake over there. And they were all lined up, and they had a guy. They had one huge guy. What was his name? Goliath. Goliath. Goliath was a monster. And he would come out every morning. Now in the morning, you get up and have breakfast. Every morning, the Israelites would get up, and they would get challenged by Goliath. He would challenge the whole Israelite army. Goliath was huge and ugly, like Jerry would do. It's 
says in verse 41, Meanwhile, chapter 17, the Philistine and his shield bearer in front of him kept coming closer to David. He looked David over and saw he was only a boy, ruddy and handsome, and he despised him. He said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his God. Come here, he said, and I'll give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David said to the Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will hand over you to me, and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. Today I'll give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. All those gathered here will know that it's not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. It looks something like this. 